She made she made this season so fun. We even had like the superintendent come and watch us. I mean, I, I know he's a fan of O'Connor, but I think he was a fan of the freshman program. Um, but Jocelyn Erickson made made this season fun. Staff, uh, 
great school to play for, to coach for. Um, I'm super happy uh, of what the future looks like for this program. Um, again, uh, thank you guys because, you know, uh, as parents, I have, you know, my kids are the same, you know, uh, program and this and that. And I know it can be tough, uh, but I really want to thank, truly thank the parents for, you know, making, making it easy on us to just be able to coach and not have to worry about, you know, the side issues. Yeah. Oh, there she is. This was my class. This was my team. Uh, we went 15 and two. You count that? Refs not showing up. I know it was going to be 16 and two, no doubt. Um, but I'm really happy to have been a part of this group. Um, if you'd like, we can stand here. If your parents want to take some pictures, I'd love to take some pictures with them. Uh, and then um, we'll go ahead and introduce the the JV team. Thank you guys so much. Uh, Now, this is a great group. Um, been with, with Bowles now for, I think, four, 
four years, Coach G three, and then Ariza, his first year, he's on the good side now, and hopefully he sticks around and stays with us. So, so I, I think when you hear the word family, I think, I, I truly believe as a group, as a program, I think this is a family. Um, I think the, the coaches try to embrace the kids that way. Are we hard on them? Yeah. Are we still going to be hard on them? Absolutely. That's, that's part of coaching. Um, but I truly feel like this is a family. I've been around most of these girls for a long time. And it's, it's just like I see my face. It's just like I'm looking at my kids, like my own kids. So um, that's the best part of this group. Now, wins and losses are great. Another great year for us um, with wins and losses. But when other coaches come and talk to me and they tell me, hey, man, your kids play hard. They're classy. They do things the right way. That's all I care about. So when they say that, and that, I haven't heard a bad, a bad thing from any coach in the state about this program. If you ask me about O'Connor, they're going to say the girls play hard and they're respectful and they're classy. And that's, as coaches, that's all we ask for. Wins and losses, we can handle that. Um, but as far as how they handle themselves at all three levels, um, we're very thankful for that. So for us, for this, for this varsity group, another successful year in my books, like I was telling the coaches, a little uneasy because of because lack of seniors, lack of leadership. Like we had seven, then we had five, then we had four, we got one. So Gabby had a lot of extra maybe that I gotta, I gotta handle a lot to the only senior, I gotta be a leader for these girls. So I was a little uneasy, a lot of young kids. Um, we had four, we had a freshman, four sophomores, I think eight juniors um, and a senior. So a lot of youth, and I wasn't sure how it was gonna how it was gonna pan out. Practice is different, but how your kids get in the game is a different story. And for us, for me, when we got the Xavier game in that first tournament in the championship, we got down about 16 early, um, and they bounced right back and cut that thing to one point. And I'm like, this team didn't like never quit. And then the whole season, I started telling them the one thing I knew about this team is they were never gonna quit. And that resiliency, in my opinion, had our first half of the year just kind of skyrocketed for us. They just never, no matter how bad or how great they played, some of that immaturity in youth, they never thought about that. They just kind of went to the next play. To the point where we had so many coaches contact us and say, man, you're, how in the world are you guys winning with such a young team? And I'm like, man, they do not care about what anyone else thinks. They just play hard and they do it all game long. And that's true to what they are, and that's what you want. You shouldn't care about those things. You do what you're supposed to do, you play the right way, and that's it. So for them, the resiliency started taking notice. And then on top of that Xavier game, the kind of turning point for me where I'm like, man, this team is for real, is that Highland game. Highland came in, um, in my opinion, they had the best player, the best player in the state, in my opinion. And I think they could probably say she's probably the best player they've played against maybe this year. But that girl came in our gym and tried to take it to us. They got up on us. We just pushed it right back down their throat, and they started celebrating. They started having some joy to them. I saw them screaming, and I saw them doing things that I've always told my coach, man, I want someone just to get in someone's face and clap, and show them it's gonna be a long night during our gym. And that's what it was for us. We started getting that, that celebration. So when we took that game, I'm like, this team has a chance to grow a lot quicker than I thought. Um, that's kind of how the whole season went. Ups and downs with youth, that's fine. Um, but as far as how hard they played, it was, it was crazy. They also made me reinvent the wheel a little bit. Um, I'm so used to things in the past, so I told them how many, I talked to the coaches, like, hey, what do we gotta fix? What do I gotta adjust? Or I was watching videos, when I go home, I'm, I'm laying in bed and I'm watching videos, like, what do I gotta fix? What do I gotta adjust? What do I gotta change? And no matter what I brought to them, they took it. Um, and they adapted to it. And for me to be well above 500 and to finish the second round again and, and lose to the eventual state champs, um, to me it's still successful. It was a great year for us. I learned a lot about some of these new kids from, from most of them I had since eighth grade, so I know them pretty well right now. Um, but parents, man, like they say before, did a great job. These kids did, I don't think I had any lip, like no talking back. Um, I never had someone question anything. They just, they just played. And I'm, I'm so appreciative that I like the youth that we have. Um, I like the junior group, the sophomore group. We got a freshman, we got a senior. I told Gabby I wish we had her for one more year, but it's life, man. Like, I know that being in this program, she can go on and be successful somewhere else because I feel like all of us have kind of been tough on her, um, but we held her accountable every step of the way and she kind of bounced back for us. So, 
Again, I'm so thankful for these kids. I think they know how I feel. I've always told you guys I won't ever talk about an individual. But we started last year doing seniors, so we'll, we'll talk about seniors. So this year we got one. Next year we got Lord knows how many. Um, so maybe next year will be a little bit different. But um, what I would like to do again is just is thank the kids because I think playing for me is hard. I don't think it's easy um, because I don't think there's a day that I'm going to take off. And I don't think I'm going to have less energy than them in a gym unless they're just really getting on my nerves and I'll be able to sit down and relax. But besides that, um, they handle it. And they just deal with it and, they, and, they, and they, they keep on moving. So I'm thankful for them. I'm going to start calling them one by one. What we have, the first time letters, um, we'll go with them first. So the first year letters. Also, girls, you have a medal um, that I had embroidered for you guys. You got your names on the back of them and the logo. So we're trying to mix things up every year. And at the very end, we will have um, Gabby Kanapa give her senior speech the way the other four did last year. Okay? So first up, patience. Come on up. Next up, Jasmine. Bella, come on up. Harris was all region's second team as well. All right, next on up. Here we go next. Kabumba, come on up. Alright, next on up is Alyssa. 
Next on up is Kylie. As a leader, but she grew at that. 
and I think she started demanding some of the attention of the girls a little bit better. So that's a testament to her parents as well. Um, another great set of parents that have never, never said a word, just always asked how we can help. So I know I got another little one, freshman on the, on the loose right now. I don't know if she has, she can fill the shoes of, of her sister, but she's got some shoes to fill. But um, thank you, Gabby, for, for your hard work. I see her every day, she's on my TA six hours, so I get to see her every single day. But thank you for your hard work, um, your dedication to this team, and, and thank you for trusting in us as coaches, all right? So we'll bring up Gabby Kanapa. And she's gonna give her speech. Thank you. 